Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And tonight I just have a bunch of random things I'm gonna share with you guys. Uh, and while I'm talking about some of it, I wanna try to keep it brief, hopefully like 10 or 12 minutes. But while I'm talking about it, we're gonna have some fun in the background. Uh, this is footage from uh, Pinball FX3, which is a free game that I was able to download recently. And I was able to pick up the Venom Pack upgrade to it, where you get Venom of like a Venom level of the pinball machine with Carnage and Spider-Man showing up in it. And I had a pretty good run through of it with a high score and I got I even got to awaken carnage which is pretty cool so I figure we'll have that footage play in the background so I'll go ahead and start that here and while that's going I'll talk to you guys about just some stuff coming up on the channel and the kind of the week and everything like that that I've had um, we do have one more carnage week episode and again just be a little bit more patient with me um, I'm hoping and obviously the artist that I reached out to is very very busy so I don't want to like pester him or or do anything like that uh, or push him uh, obviously he's, he's, that's very nice of him to take time out of his day to answer these five questions I have for him so as soon as those are answered I will make the last Carnage Week episode and we'll put it in there but for now we'll just go back to the regular Venom blog episodes so that's one update that I wanted to share with you guys um, another thing is there's some comic books coming up that I'm going to be talking about uh, one of them is the Spirits of Venom miniseries uh, and I have it, it spans between Web of Spider-Man and the uh, the Spirits of Vengeance comic book that came out in the 90s and it's this really cool uh, four-part storyline where it has Johnny Blaze the original Ghost Rider Dan Ketch the uh, newer Ghost Rider at this time and my favorite Ghost Rider um, and then you have Spider-Man and Venom teaming up all together and it's called the Spirits of Venom series look at that cover it's so awesome uh, so we're gonna do that I found these in my closet with my Dan Ketch collection I actually have the entire run of Dan Ketch uh, comic books and there may be a time where I make some episodes dedicated to that because I really love that run uh, so we're gonna talk about this coming up we're also gonna talk about the Marvel vs. DC 90s series uh, in that you had a, a battle actually between Venom and Superman uh, and I thought that would be really fun I got scans of the original pages so we'll talk about that and share that info with you guys uh, because I don't think that's in print anymore I don't think it's allowed to be in print so if you find a copy of that anywhere it's gonna have to be online somewhere or at a convention to pick up that miniseries and I think it was issue 3 where Venom fought Superman um, but you know I can't remember fully to, to be honest with you and then I also have the, in print I actually have a copy of it here which is the Spider-Man Batman team up and in that book Spider-Man and Batman fight Joker and Carnage uh, and it's pretty interesting so we are definitely going to talk about that as well we're going to do a little episode about those two battles so that's coming up on the channel um, I mentioned earlier that I reached out to four uh, companies that are doing visual effects for the Venom movie um, and I, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head uh, and I don't know how to pronounce a couple of them so just for the sake of that I know um, Argon is one and Double Negative and um, I think there was one called Pixel Mondo and then the uh, Naviz Age I think I don't know how to pronounce that one uh, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name uh, but uh, I reached out to all four of them and two of them actually got back to me and basically what I wrote them was hey look I, I don't want spoilers for the Venom movie obviously I'm not trying to ask for that I'm, I'm sure they're un you're under non-disclosure agreements which they are the two who wrote me back to mention that um, I said but I'm not looking for that information I just want to know what your company provides as far as visual effects go so I can make it in a couple episodes about each company to kind of educate all of us on why a movie like this would need four different companies and possibly five if WIDA is actually involved in this at some point because um, I've been hearing different you know rumors about that and there's a guy on the uh, on the IMDb named Bryce something I'm, I'm blanking on his name right now sorry I don't script a lot of my stuff so I'm trying to go off memory uh, it's a this, this doing this show is also a memory practice for me for my, my brain and stuff so um, I you know I can't uh, I can't remember everything but uh, I, I believe he works for Wada that's the information I got from someone on uh, on Instagram so uh, I, I think maybe they might be involved or you know people who work there are involved but I don't know yet so I'm still trying to figure all that out and I'm waiting to hear back from all the companies that I wrote and get some information and one of the companies in particular shared a ton of information and they have a ton more they want to share about the technology they use uh, in all their movies and then how you know maybe it applies to Venom without giving me any information about Venom so that was really nice of them to write me back so we have that coming up as well and we'll do um, an episode of each company as long as I get information I'll probably still make an episode of each company and just tell you what I do know and what I was able to gather off of their you know their websites and information like that uh, but otherwise uh, some of these you know places that are actually reaching back to me and providing information will be great because then I won't sound like such an idiot <laughs> when I make these videos videos and I won't have to speculate so much so that'll be really cool so I'll definitely bring that stuff to you guys 
Um, also, uh, my videos that I posted last night, which were um, the you know the Jack the bartender one. Uh, thank you guys for watching that one, and also thank you for watching the uh, the Melora Walters episode. And it turns out I put a, a that image, like I took a screenshot of the video and put it on Instagram. And here are these images. Check this out. Melora Walters' Instagram account, which I believe it's her. She doesn't have a check mark next to it. But she also doesn't have a ton of followers, so I don't know if, you know if it's really her or if it is her, and she just doesn't have a big following. Um, either way, uh, you know, the person who runs this, I, at first I was like, oh, maybe it's not really her, but I still tagged her in any way because she was the only Melora Walters on Instagram. And it turns out it, it is actually her. And she responded, she commented on the picture and uh, and tagged her agent and I believe her manager or her, she tagged her representation, people who represent her into that. And then one of the people commented back and said, well now, and then they also, she said, oh look, he used a cute picture of you too. Uh, so I thought that was really awesome. It totally made my day seeing that kind of response from the actual actress herself, uh, which is really cool because like I said, I'm a fan and so I'm, I'm looking forward to even more and I'm hoping that some kind of confirmation even though it wasn't really confirmation obviously she can't just come out and say hey yep I'm in the movie uh, even though I did kind of ask uh, I, I just re knee jerk reaction I was like oh, oh my god does this mean it's true uh, but hopefully she never replies to that and she just kind of is like oh that's cute the, this the guy made a video on me um, and I did I, I, I used a picture um, that I, I was like oh she looks really cute in that picture um, so yeah anyway um, that made my day seeing that so uh, I think that means you know I'm, I'm my my ways of research I'm hoping are panning out and working and again I'm not trying to spoil the movie or you know or do anything like that and ruin anyone's experience in this movie I'm just trying to get information that I can share that I don't feel is too spoilery uh, learning about what actors might be in this movie she might probably just have a small role for the few lines so I didn't really think that would be too spoilery now if I found out who Woody Harrelson is playing um, I would not make a video on that I would wait until that information was officially released before I did that uh, so again just just showing you where my where I draw my lines and stuff. Um, so yeah, I, that's the update. And uh, here you can see we're playing in the Carnage part now, which is pretty cool. You have to spell out his name to like get to this part where it's. This is the scene where Eddie Brock breaks out of jail, and you see he's making a hole in the wall, and uh, and there's like a red symbiote going over Cletus Cassidy's arm. So it's kind of you know mimicking and recreating that you know scene from the comic books. So um, yeah, so that's just the stuff that I have coming up on this channel. Um, we're gonna get back to doing comic book discussions. We're also going to do Venom the Mace. Uh, my friend Joe Schlepsky, who does a great podcast called Joe on Joe, which is about him being a big G.I. Joe fan, and so it's like him re-watching the episodes. He had me on one of the first episodes. I think he had me on episode two uh, of his show, and uh, and he's just a great guy. He was like, please do Venom the Mace. Like, you got to do Venom the Mace. So we will get into Venom the Mace. We're going to be coming up on Scarlet Spider pretty soon with the Exile Returns storyline. Uh, we got a lot of fun stuff coming up, and obviously we're Toy Fair is just like four days away now. It's what is it Tuesday? It's going to be Tuesday here in like an hour. Um, so on Friday we're going to probably get a lot of information. And we know that Hollywood Reporter they're getting the exclusive. Right? Heat Wave or whatever part of you know Hollywood Reporter is getting the exclusive for the Venom toys that are coming out. You know uh, this later this year for the movie. So uh, we're going to see pictures. I'm going to do a whole video on that stuff this weekend for you guys. And also Long Beach Comic Con is this weekend. And I, it turns out I have Sunday off. And if my leg isn't bothering me too much. I may go down there for a couple hours and just try to film some things for you guys, make a little vlog, and maybe pick up a, a, an original piece of art, maybe find an artist and have them draw a Venom picture for us, or a Carnage picture or something, um, or I'll find like an old, you know, some back issues or something that we can read and look through, and I'll try to do like a, a mini haul. I don't have a ton of money, but maybe, you know, if I, if I can squeeze stuff together for you guys and make a fun video out of it, I definitely will. Uh, but it'll all come down to how I feel. And uh, yeah, there you go. 11's my lucky number. New high school. Score. Uh, that is still, I think, my current highest score. I played like six or seven times after this match, and I still did not get uh, this this score or even come close to it. So uh, that's why I also chose this footage. But because we got to see Carnage too, I was like, oh great! After like 20 games, I finally got to see Carnage in this. Uh, but yeah, if you're out there, Pinball FX3. I think it's like a free game on uh, on Xbox and PlayStation and on PC. I think. Uh, and then this was just um, uh, oh my my system's 
uh, recognizing me speaking and saying Xbone. So I have to refer to it as the Xbone right now. Uh, but yeah, so you can pick this up for free. And I think the Venom add on is like five or six bucks. I can't remember. It comes in a bundle. So you have to look for it. I was lucky enough to pick it up on sale for like $1.50. So that, you know, made it worth it to me. But, um, but yeah, so if you like the footage, definitely check out that pinball game. It's a great stress reliever. It's also a great stress causer too. So be careful with that. Um, but yeah, we got about a minute left of the footage. So I'll just let it roll out with the high score and, uh, and we'll just mention a couple other things. Um, there is a video I'm thinking about making. Uh, people were asking me about it and I thought we had a good conversation in one of the comments section with our, our friend Alvaro who wrote to me about, um, you know, how fans are reacting online and how there's this bias out there against non, you know, uh, non Disney Marvel movies. And I agree there is that bias to an extent, but I also agree that those fans can be won over. And the, and I have proof of that pretty much because look at Daredevil uh, or look at Daredevil. Daredevil is a great show, but look at Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool is a Fox uh, Marvel movie and Ryan Reynolds and, the, and Tim Miller and everyone who made that movie, they won over a lot of those fans that are just like strictly Marvel fans and strictly Disney Marvel fans. They they won over a lot of them. So did Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot with Wonder Woman, and so did you know Logan, the movie Logan, uh, with Wolverine uh, with Hugh Jackman, um, and uh, who's always going to be Wolverine to me now. Uh, but you know him and James Mangold won a lot of people over with Logan as well. So I. I don't think it's impossible to win those fans over. I just think sometimes the tactics these studios use where they like reach out to people and say, hey, you know, change your mind. Don't write so negative about our, our movie. And they kind of have these bullying tactics. Every studio does it and I don't agree with it. Uh, and I also don't agree with that's, that being a tactic to win fans over. Uh, if you want new fans, you have to go the distance. You have to play the game. You have to pamper them. You have to you win them over. Um, and, you, and you have to put stuff out there that you think they'll like. And if you put stuff out there that you you know, don't change your movie. That's the other thing. Don't do what Warner Brothers does and change your movie, Sony. Just stick to your your sci-fi monster movie that Venom is. Stick to that and just keep making it that way. Don't try to change it in editing and change the tone and add more jokes. Like, don't react that way. Just make your movie. People are going to love it or hate it. It's just going to be the way it is. But in your marketing, that's where you can win people over. You can have Tom Hardy give exclusive interviews. You can have him be more interactive on social media, the way Ryan Reynolds is with uh, with stuff, the way D James Mangold posted all those great black and white photos. Like there was all these great things. Those people who made those movies really believed in those projects. And now we need that for this movie. And I know everyone working on it is very busy. We're still, you know, eight months away from the movie coming out, even maybe nine, nine months away. Um, but uh, we, we still got a ways for the movie to come out. So we we still have time to do the marketing and, and gather people around, uh, but we need to start laying that down. And us as fans of this and who are excited for this movie, we can't just just get into arguments all the time about it and just and yell at people for not liking it and having a different opinion. We have to give them a chance to be won over, and that's on Sony, and that's us as fans need to like lay off a little bit. I get tired of people yelling at each other just because they have different opinions on things like movies and trailers. It's so silly, and it's not worth it. Trust me, I've been there. I've yelled at a bunch of people over like DC movies and you know and why I thought they were bad, and people who defended them, and I lost friends, and a lot of those people were good people, and I regret you know letting you know taking something like that so personally. It's just not worth it. It doesn't matter. Uh, trust me. Learn learn. Learn from me, learn from my mistakes. It's not worth it. So everyone on here, hopefully we can all just disagree respectively. Uh, that's what I want to do on here. I don't want us to yell at each other. If we're all a fan of Venom and we're all looking for something in the Venom movie, hopefully we all get it on some level. Uh, but if we don't, you know, we don't. And then that's just how it is. But I'm excited for this movie and I like the trailer and uh, and I can't wait for the next trailer. And that's just my opinion on it. So you guys, you guys let me know if all this information I talked about in this episode where I just kind of rambled and ranted. Let me know about the comics coming up we're going to talk about. Are you excited for the episodes where I'm going to look at the visual effects teams and the people that are making this movie on the visual effects ends? Uh, are you excited to learn more about visual effects and why a movie would need four or five different studios to help them with visual effects? Um, let me know all this stuff down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys supporting this channel. We are getting very close to a thousand subscribers. I think we're like almost at 940 now, and I'm so very thankful to you guys for that. Uh, we are eight days away from February 20th. I think we have to hit a thousand by then um, in order for me to keep the monetization on this channel. Otherwise, I'll have to, you know, when we do cross a thousand, I'll have to, you know, uh, submit something to them, register to them, fill out a bunch of crap, and it'd probably go through a couple month process before we can get back to monetization. And I, I know I don't make a ton of money on here, but I'd like to 
not have that interruption because I am dead broke and I can certainly use the help uh, and not you know get disrupted um, in that progress. So, uh, but even if we don't make it, I appreciate the effort that you guys have had to try to get me to a thousand. Just knowing that we're this close means the world to me. We're a lot closer than I thought it'd be at this time. So thank you very much. And hopefully you continue to enjoy the content on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.